So I've got my fake tanning routine for you today and I can't even count the amount of times I've been asked about my fake tan and currently this is four days old that I've got on at the moment so my tan's pretty much gone um, because I shower every day so it's going to come off quite quickly on me. But today I'm just going to go through the products I use, how I apply it, how long it usually lasts and just a little bit about my favourite fake tans. So to start off with, the fake tan that I'm currently using is the St. Moritz Instant Self Tanning Mousse and this is in dark. I started off with the medium one a couple of months back and I just wasn't getting the results I wanted so I've grabbed the dark one. This works absolutely perfectly for me and it's relatively cheap. I believe this is under the £5 mark depending on where you buy it and this is just my go-to tan because it's affordable and it works. So on me, this tan lasts three or four days, so today we're on our fourth day and as you can see I'm not that bronzed anymore but I think four days is pretty good considering I've showered every day and for the price but if I were to buy a fake tan purely based on performance as opposed to price I would buy the Fake Bake original one, it's the one in the red packet but I think it's around £23 a bottle or something like that but that's my all time favourite tan. And I've never actually gone streaky with this. Um, mine fades really evenly and really well, but I do know a couple of my friends have used this and gone really, really streaky. So I guess it just depends what kind of skin you have and how you apply it. But definitely with that fake bake one, you don't go streaky at all. So if you do want to start off with a fake tan, it's probably best to spend a bit more money and invest in one that is foolproof. So when I apply the tan, I don't actually use a mitt. What I do is I put a glove on so it doesn't stain my hands and then I use a sock instead of a mitt. And that's because I had a mitt and then I tried to wash the mitt and it like melted and got all misshapen and was not usable anymore. Although I do have another mitt now, I just find it a lot easier to use a sock because you've got kind of a lot more movement with a sock and yeah it works really well for me and I use a black one so I can't see all of the tan on it. So to prepare my skin for tanning I make sure I've had a shower. What I'll tend to do is I'll, when I'm tanning I'll shower in the morning, I'll shave my legs and everything like that, I'll exfoliate and then I will tan in the evening and leave it on overnight and then shower in the morning to get the excess off. The reason I do that is because if you shower and then instantly fake tan then it's going to go all in your open pores where you've shaved on your legs and it's going to go all dotty and that's not a good look. So that's why I wait until the evening, just give my skin kind of the day to relax and that's how I find it goes on best. With regards to keeping up my tan and preserving it for the longest time possible. The way I do that is just to moisturise every single day and I'm pretty lazy when it comes to moisturising my skin so I don't do it every single day and I guess that's why my tan fades so quickly but I don't mind having to kind of tan every five days, it's not an issue. Also with tanning on my face, I don't always put this on my face, I'll use the um, Garnier Instant Tan Body thing, let me go get it. <laughs> so this is what I use on my face and it's the Garnier Body Summer Body Moisturising Lotion. It says it gradually builds a natural looking sunkissed tan. So I use this on my face, I do not use it on my whole body. I did that once and I, ooh, I went so streaky, it was so embarrassing and just never again. But I find this works so well on my face. What I'll do, I'll put it on before I go to bed, I'll wake up in the morning and that's what saves me from looking absolutely dead when I have no makeup on. Although I haven't used this in a long while, I need to kind of get it back out and start using it again. I guess because it's been the summer I've had a natural tan on my face, but in winter this is my best friend. <laughs> So I really hope you enjoyed this video and seeing how I do my fake tan. If you'd like more videos similar to this, kind of how-to videos about the things I do, then definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. And I'll see you very soon. Bye!